With Eric Kane, Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com on a two-minute drill here as Tennessee wraps up their bowl preparations in Knoxville. Players headed home for Christmas. Tennessee convenes in Nashville. Christmas night hits the practice field on the 26th. Josh Heupel meeting the media for a final time here in Knoxville. Biggest question, first of all, a lot of COVID stuff going on out there. It seems like he's as comfortable as you can be with where his team is right now from a COVID standpoint. Yeah, and the way I kind of I kind of took it from his answer in there was just kind of like, well, hey, th nothing's new. We've been dealing with this for quite some time. We've been taking precautions and protocols, and uh, it's about the uh, the safety of the, the student athletes. And so from that perspective, it doesn't seem like that's a big concern right now, but obviously it's something to pay attention to because you're seeing teams across America having to deal with this and shutting down bowl practices. Yep, uh, Tennessee has not had to deal with any of that. Over 90% vaccinated, according to Josh Heupel, did not have a booster number but said over 90% of his team was vaccinated. Let's talk about on the field. We know Alante Taylor is not going to play. We think Kamal hadn't, but it sounds like at that cornerback spot opposite Warren Burrell, there is plenty of competition there still as they get ready to go to Nashville for bull prep. Yeah, will it be Kamal Haddon? Will it be Kenneth George? Sean Rucker's uh, a young guy that you know saw mostly time on special teams. Could you see a Brandon Turnage who you know transferred in as a cornerback, started a game at Star, was SEC Defensive Player of the Week actually, kind of spent the, the majority of the season there, but obviously is a cornerback. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see him get some run there, but it sounds like very much unsettled on who would get the majority of the reps, and I think it might be kind of a rotating door. And kind of going back to what we heard from Warren Burrow yesterday, it's the competition. It's, it's always like that in practice, and it's kind of a you know setting the scene for what might happen in spring practice with Alante Taylor no longer part of the program. Yeah, and, and obviously that's going to be a, a, a big position because of how much Purdue throws the football. Yeah. You know Purdue's going to try to attack both Tennessee's corners. Burrell had his struggles, but certainly a new corner there makes you wonder exactly how that's going to be. On the offensive line, Cade Mays not doing a lot of work. We didn't see him in any of the individual stuff when we were allowed to be at practice. But Josh Heupel did not rule him out of being able to play in the bowl game. Kind of a wait and see deal. Yeah, you know, Cade's trying to play in this bowl game. He's trying to rehab and get healthy and, and trying to get back out there for for another game here with Tennessee. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, wouldn't shock me. The durability issues, kind of, kind of, with him that plagued him all season long. Uh, Dane Davis has gotten a whole lot of work. Uh, you know, other guys, uh, Jeremiah Crawford has gotten a whole lot of work. You know, moving forward, maybe a Gerald Mincy will, will be a guy that kind of kind of falls into there. So, uh, K. May is doing all he can to get back for this game, but it might look like a game time decision, kind of like what we thought this entire time. Yeah, we'll see what he does on the practice field once we get to Nashville. As for the newcomers, heads are spinning, and that's okay for Josh Heupel. He just said just for them to get indoctrinated to the team is the biggest thing not exactly in terms of you know who can help or anything yeah. like that or, or, or making an early evaluation. It's more about just learning what this is all about. Well, I mean, it's such a shock whenever you step foot on the practice field for the first time coming from high school to the SEC, right? So throwing them in there, Josh Heupel said he's been working with uh, their, their current players for 11 months. So just throwing these newcomers in there, seeing how they go about in, in, in position drills and individual, seeing how their position coach coaches, they're not going to be shocked. I think I heard AP say this last week. They're not going to be shocked once spring practice rolls around. So I think that's just huge for these guys. Yep. We'll see how those guys go moving forward. Obviously, this team getting ready for Purdue. It's all about Purdue now following the Christmas holidays. We've got full basketball coverage coming up tonight. An update on Jared Verse coming up later this afternoon. Plenty of other recruiting coverage, plenty of other basketball coverage, and plenty of football coverage in the next couple of days. That's going to do it for this edition of the VolQuest.com 2-Minute Drill.